evidence and witness testimony has been submitted in the Kealoha trial. The jury will hear closing arguments next week before they start deliberating. Manolo Morales has its tales. During Thursday's hearing, prosecutors wanted to show that attorney Kevin Sumida, who testified for the defense, lied while he was on the stand. When prosecutors asked him if he had looked at his records during recess, Sumida said no. But there's video of him inside the courtroom looking through the pages during the break, which was shown to the jury. Attorneys are set to meet with the judge Friday to finalize jury instructions and will then prepare for closing arguments. Legal expert Doug Chin says prosecutors will have to walk the jurors through every piece of key evidence as they try to prove all five defendants conspired to frame Gerard Puana for the alleged mailbox theft. Chin points out that prosecutors will have to rely on circumstantial evidence. There is no videotape, there is no eyewitness to say uh, everybody got together and they formed a conspiracy. Um, but just because that's the case, that doesn't mean that the prosecutors aren't able to still put everything together. Chin says conspiracy cases are difficult to prove. Closing arguments will be critical for prosecutors to show that the evidence is strong enough for a guilty verdict. This really explains why they were walking through so many different um, false transactions or false names or, uh, or just even the, the different ways that money was moving around in different accounts is because that's circumstantial evidence. Closing arguments are scheduled for Tuesday. Manolo Morales, KHON 2 News.